Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be doing a good old fashioned unboxing. Hopefully a nice simple video with simple editing because the last few have been an absolute nightmare and very complicated. So for this package it is a job lot of blank tapes. Some of them are new and I was lucky enough to get this for £3.75 £3 plus £3.50 postage. So that's seven pounds twenty-five total. So there are some good deals available on for sets if you're willing to look for them. And I can't remember everything that's in there, so let's have a little look. Ooh, TDK AR60. I've got my Bic out already. Let's have a look and see what the quality of these tapes are actually like. Yeah, there's a few little marks on the lead there because quite often when you get blank tapes they're very poor quality but this one looked like these have hardly been used look at that, that looks in perfect condition there and our 60, that's handy we've even got the labels there, I wonder if they've been yeah, the labels have been used got an unused J card, excellent, please with that and ooh, an AD90 Again, unused J card by the looks of it. Unused labels. Let's have a look at this one. Now, oh, yeah, this one's been used. It's had some problems by the looks of it. There's no real way to tell. This one's been well mangled up, hasn't it? Yeah, so it's probably usually it's at the beginning of side A and the beginning of side B, but further on in the tape it might not be too bad. Anyway, it's getting a bit better the further we go on. But obviously I do have the cassette, um, the music centre that I bought, which has probably already gone up on YouTube. don't know what order. I've got lots of videos to edit. I'm not sure what order I'm going to put them up. I've got four so far. I've got two already almost done. And this one and another one to do. So, so a Sony Super EF90. That's quite nice, though. I quite like that. I get the feeling that these... Oh, that's an interesting leader. I get the feeling that these uh, transparent shells were quite late in the life of cassettes. Oh, my God, look at the state of that. So we've got one good, one bad, and one very bad so far. It's all right after that though, but is it worth really splicing these bits of tape off when used type ones are very common? You can still buy them at a decent price. Even new type ones are not too expensive. I'll have to make a decision later about those. What's this one? Ooh, that's an older one. I think scotch. I did like scotch video cassettes when VHS was out. That's in nice condition. Yeah, scotch video cassettes I think were the best. TDKs were all right. I'm trying to wind that on. It's the beginning of side two at the moment. So let's have a look. That's not too bad. I wonder if the beginning of side one's any any worse. Another TDK AR. Looks a bit dusty or a bit more used. And bear in mind I pay £7 all in, £7.50 all in for these. It's not a bad deal. Okay, not too bad. Labels. One used. Now that, those two appear to have a uh, appear to have a different case. This one's smokier than this one. Okay, got a couple of unused ones there. What's this one? Fuji DR2. 
Oh, this is an upside down box. Not really like this upside down box. How much space are they, were they hoping to save by doing an upside down box? So this extra thickness here didn't have to be in the hinge. It could be thinner plastic up there. That's got a similar, similar leader to the other one I just looked at. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Interesting, I don't think I've got Fuji one on it. Oh, I'm trying to put it in the wrong way up. Right, what else we got used? Ooh, this one looks like an older one. Acoustic dynamic cassette. Blimey. 1979, so this is after that date. At least the box is. And that's sort of, you know, seven and one eighths inch per second. They used to put that on because um, in the olden days they had reel to reel and you could run the reels at different speeds. And the, the faster the speed, the better the quality. Let's have an older one, which hasn't been used, the, you know, the, in, the J card hasn't been used. Oh, so this is where you'd have a card index, you'd have a box of index cards on the desk, usually used for sort of contact details back before the days of PDAs and phones. Yes, that's quite nice. Hang on, that's not uh, that's not <laughs> not the right cassette for the box. Okay, fair enough. It's a nice box. I just wish I had the cassette to go in it. It might turn up later on in this package. So, all right, I want you. I want some feedback on this. Are you interested in what the tape looks like in these? I know a lot of tape experts or tape uh, enthusiasts are interested in the colour of the tape and uh, whether it's rough or not. Um, I mean, it's interesting to me, but it's not something that I know very much about. So leave a comment, yes or no, are you interested in looking at the actual tape within the cassettes? Wow, this is nice. So Sony CHF60. Ooh, that's a funny colour, isn't it? That's a nice cassette. So I wonder when these came out. I wonder if there's any information. This logo here, I think, is typically... Let's zoom in a bit, in case you're watching on a TV phone. Uh, this typically means it's an older cassette, I think. If they're actually called... The correct name for these things is compact cassette, as opposed to a non-compact cassette but it tended to be used in the early days of tapes you know, cassette tapes uh, and that helps indicate the age i know there's a, somebody gave me a website uh, to look up and there's a facebook group that does um talks about cassettes and their uh well made in canada talks about cassettes and their origin where they were made and you know, formulations and stuff, but I haven't really had time to look at it yet, but I will do. Yeah, so I really like that. Very nice. I think this one's another one of the same. Yeah, it is. Let's see if there's any more to it than that. Nope, same thing. I really like the J card on that and the design of the cassette as well. Well, wow. okay, so some of these are now, the ones we're moving on to now are um, un unopened ones. So this I think is, uh, this was the heyday when Maxwell were um, advertising a lot on TV. I, it's not the latest Maxwell, but it's probably quite close to the latest ones. You can pause that, have a look if you want. Nothing special on that. There's a reference number there. Was that a reference number I saw? No. Wow, if we get out on this 
on this video with no editing to be done that'd be brilliant now i've got one of these this came i think an opened one came in my uh, 70s cassette haul video which i'll put a link to in the description and uh, put a little card up there as well it's nice to have one that's uh, uh, in fact i'll tell you what it is it's my i'm not going to get it because it means i'll have to do an edit but it's uh, my disposable, I'll get it. There you go, so I'll have to put an edit in there. It is my expendable test tape. There it is. And it looks like this. Oh my God, and I can never get the box open. But it is, the tape has had it. Although it seems all right there, it's got loads and loads of dropouts on it. And uh, it's a bit crinkled at the start. But it's, um, and it's got some horrible music on, but it's what I use if I put it in a really bad deck that I don't care about it if it gets even more mashed up then I don't care so we've got a brand new one now that one's a 60 and that one is a 90 otherwise it looks the same so yeah I might uh, open it up one day and uh, put some music on it and see how bad it is as a brand new cassette right Mitsubishi I don't think these were uh, this is owned by someone called Simon and it's written there 60, just in case you don't know what the numbers mean. It's an audio tape, as opposed to a video tape, which would be a completely different size. Tough and reliable. Made in Korea, Mitsubishi Island. Different languages. I can't imagine Hang on, Mitsubishi, they made, hang on a second, I'm racking my brains here. I'm not very knowledgeable, but I do watch a lot of YouTube videos about this. Mitsubishi made decks for another company. They might have made tapes for another company. I don't know, but I think they made cassette decks for another company. So maybe they did know what they were talking about. But it's a really weird, weird looking cassette. So hopefully I'll do an unboxing of that one day. Oh, we've got another bush here. That's the first bush we've had. C90, I don't think these are very good. Superferric, that just means they're trying to make it appear to be better than it is. We'll head out the right way in the first place. So sorry on that one. Not much to it. And this one looks quite interesting. Ross, I've got a couple of uh, mini disc head cleaners. In fact, I've got three different mini disc head cleaners. Here's a little insight into what I'm hoping to bring to you for mini discs. Three mini disc head cleaners, and all of them are different, and one of them doesn't work. And I'm planning to do a video about the differences between them soon, or at some point. I've been planning it for about a year now. Yeah, so that's interesting. Never seen a Ross one before. Looks fairly cheap, but it doesn't look bad if you see what I mean. So that's it. So let me just have a quick add up. So there we go, 14 new cassettes. Two, four, five unused, uh, two scotch, one in the wrong box. Shame, because I'd like to see the original cassette for that. Uh, a Fuji, a Sony, a TDK, two more of these TDKs, two really nice Sonys, and a vintage high-tech. So that's it for another video. If you've got any comments about these, I'll be interested to hear them. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.